First song. First song. First song. First song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounds so lovely, don't you agree? Jay and Rob, around the world. world. Bad, bad. Hello, world. <laughs> I'm back, world. So beautiful, world. so beautiful. Yeah. Let me talk to you. Check it. Yeah, this girl is so good looking. Wish I was on her like a tattoo. Her body banging like home cooking. The mother bras just fast food. You probably think I'm just sub woofing, but I could get you turned up like my app do. Let me show you how to get on my level. Follow me. She want that five minute fresh enough. You try to holler, homie, but you wasn't fresh enough. That's how I know I'm a professional. Six O's on the left side of a decimal. She want that five minute fresh enough. You try to holler, homie, but you wasn't fresh enough. That's how I know I'm a professional Six O's on the left side of the desk Now look at me I'm in that gold Lamborghini drop I'm rolling these haters and never see me stop I'm dealing in euros, I call that kiwi guap Exotic bills for my exotic wheels Exotic meals, I call that opulence I'm talking Wall Street money, you just the occupant I'm in that 1% over Hi everybody, my name is Christina Francis and welcome to Cream, or Cream Channel if you will. Um, so I just want to start by saying thank you for visiting the channel and to kind of introduce myself and what I'm going to start doing and let you guys know what Cream is. First off, Cream is a lifestyle brand. Um, I am the fashion designer and the CEO of Cream. <laughs> Uh, I want to let you guys know what cream is about. Really, cream represents the independent, ambitious woman. And we represent women of all shapes and sizes and age. Um, well, mainly for teenage to older um, adult women. Actually, and men, too. <laughs> um, I say that because um, the clothing is a bit... Um, you know, revealing in some way. I want to just be honest, and I don't think it would be appropriate for children or um, girls under the age of 16. Uh, so anyways, uh, this channel is going to be about what I think is hot right now in fashion and music and makeup and styling, and I just kind of want to introduce the world to Cream and let you guys know what we're about. So with that, um, I want to talk about fall. I absolutely adore fall. I think it's one of my favorite seasons. I feel so glamorous, and I love the weather, of course. Um, when I get married one day, I'm going to get married in fall. That's how much I love it. Uh, but anyways, um, I think fall really brings out the vampy, romantic, grunge style in um, women and men's fashion, uh, as well as makeup. So today I want to kind of get started by letting you guys know what kind of makeup I'm wearing and what really inspired me. Um, I call this look Autumnize uh, because of the colors I'm using. So I'm going to close up right now on my eyes and my lips so that you guys can really get a feel for what the look is. So as you guys can see, I did a brown smoky eye. I tight lined my eyes and added um, a more natural um, pair of eyelashes as well as gave myself a slight wing. I also didn't really do much of a cheek because I knew that my eyes and my lips were going to be the focus. For my lips, I'm doing a plum, which I think is really fierce right now, really, really hot. Um, and I think plums and rouges and vampy reds go with any skin tone, and I definitely advise everyone to try it. I think it's a beautiful, sophisticated look. So for makeup, I definitely think um, going more, I would say, conservative uh, is better for fall. I know that when people think conservative, you think maybe minimalistic makeup, very natural, very fresh-faced. But um, I'm thinking more of a business look, so more bold, not so um, bronzed and dewy, more of a matte kind of finish. Um, well, today I kind of did a little bit of highlight in bronze, which you can see. But not as much as I normally would because I'm very much a fan of that Miami tan look. Um, but anyways, I want to actually introduce you guys to one of my favorite products right now. And I think it's really hot and everybody should go out there and grab a color and try it. Um, I want to start by saying that 
I am a sucker for finding great makeup for a cheap price. I don't think that beauty or fashion should be expensive. I do believe that there are some brands out there that are worth paying thousands and hundreds of dollars for, but for the most part, um, if you can find a product in the dollar, $1 sign range, go for it, buy it. And I happen to find a really hot lip wear um, from the drugstore. So I'm going to grab it right now. So what I have here is Meg Last by Wet n Wild, and I'm actually wearing it today. Um, this is the plum color that I have on. And actually, when I put it on, at first I thought it was going to be like um, a lip gloss and be shiny, but it ended up turning matte within 30 seconds. So it goes on like lip gloss, and I'll open it, the brush here so you guys can see. It goes on like it looks like it's going to be lip gloss, but it dries like a matte lipstick, and I think it's absolutely fabulous, and everybody should try one. Um, the color that I'm wearing is 930 Raisin the Roof. Um, I got this one at Rite Aid, and I think it was like maybe like $1.92, which I think is fabulous. <laughs> so um, definitely go out there and try it. Mega last wet and wild. Um, so that brings us into fashion. So with this kind of makeup look, I definitely suggest that um, we tone down in the colors. I mean, you can really wear whatever color you want as long as you feel confident and you make it fabulous. That's fine. But what I really suggest is something in the black or white color scheme because I feel like it draws attention to the makeup and it really makes you stand out and look fierce. So um, today I happen to be wearing both black and white stripes with a gold watch. Um, and I think it actually helped make, up, make my makeup look like the statement instead of um, looking too much. You know, you want to look just right and effortless. And I feel like looking put together and polished is the best formula for success. Um, so anyways, in fashion, what's hot right now for fall, of course, I definitely think is black and white. And I tend to see myself stick to those colors throughout the um, fall and winter season. But um, definitely maroons, deep browns, rich, rich, rich purples are definitely hot as well. Um, for fall, I definitely think that you should get a statement piece. So it could be your lipstick. And for fashion, it could be a bag. So I actually happen to have a great bag. I'm so happy I found it. Um, I think it's really a fashion statement and it's a staple item in my closet and I think it would be a staple item in anybody's closet. I use it for business, I use it for pleasure, I use it for pretty much anything. You can go casual and you can go dressy with this. I definitely would say that this is a day bag. I wouldn't say that um, it's a night bag because it's a bit big in size. So I'll lift it up and show you guys right now. So this is a Michael Kors bag. It's very structured. It's nice and black. It's got um, a medium matte finish. I definitely think this is big for fall. Um, and it's really affordable, I think. Um, and if not, you know, you can always find a great structured black bag anywhere. I actually happened to go to Forever 21 and H&M, and they have structured totes that look like this, and I think they would be great for anybody, really. So I definitely think this is a staple piece for fall. Um, so you should definitely try it. And you can, of course, pair this with any any color you want. I suggest a color um, black for fall. You can go with a nude color as well. And if you're fortunate enough, go ahead and get both. Get a nude and get a black. So I also think for shoes that the pointed heel is really hot right now. Um, some people call them witch shoes. Uh, for me, I just would rather call them the pointed heel. I think they're actually great. I'm actually going to lot of pair right now. So um, I believe this is like four inches but it's great for fall and it gives you that business look. Um, I would pair this with the outfit I'm going to wear today actually with uh, skinny black pants that look dressy and then this and then of course my Michael Kors bag and I think it really pulls an outfit together. You could even go with a sandal shoe um, I see Kim Kardashian wearing these a lot right now. Um, I don't know what you'd call them besides a sandal shoe with a ankle strap, a really thick one. I think these are really, really good for fall and very, very sexy. Um, you can pair them with a very simple black dress or um, skinny pants. 
Um, it definitely adds a very chic vibe to any look. Um, so again, with fall, I would say the main points I'm trying to get to today are think business chic, think minimalistic, color blocking blacks and whites, and really just going for that simple, minimal chic look. Um, you can also go for grunge. I see a lot of people doing grunge lately. I am a big fan of grunge. I just don't happen to um, really wear that style quite often. I tend to be more um, polished and uh, preppy, if you will. But for those of you that want to try grunge, go ahead and do that as well. But definitely, I would say stick to the colors of blacks and whites and grays. More on the darker color scheme to make you look a little bit more polished and not so much like you're from 1994. Um, but that concludes my style and fashion bit. And thank you, everyone, for watching. And I hope to see you guys again. Uh, stay tuned for more videos. Hopefully, I'll be doing tutorials soon. And um, thank you. And if any of you are in the California area, preferably Southern California, Los Angeles, and Orange County, you can go ahead and book me for styling, closet organization. Um, and if you'd like any one of my dresses or um, getting your makeup done as well, go ahead and book me. I'll put my contact information at the bottom. Thank you and have a great day.